Hello everyone and welcome to Ecamm Network News and Entertainment. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulton Sandry. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday, everyone, and happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you are having a pleasant April Fool's. Um, I My equipment today is being very April Foolish to me. So there are a lot of things that are not working. So let's see what's up. I don't know if it has to do with the eclipse coming up or, or if it is due to April Fool's. Who knows? We will find out. But hopefully, the fam is having a great Monday. We missed you all yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the stream is looking good, so <laughs> there's no there's no live happens happening right now on the no on live the happens. Live. Okay, all nope. right. So let <laughs> let's say hello to the fam over here. We have Rainy Cajun. Hey. <laughs> we have the amazing, awesome Wood Things Matt and the puppies and the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Micah, hello. Hello, good to see you here. And we have our awesome Dan. Happy, birth happy birthday. Oh, to, happy birthday. To my mom's. My mom's yeah. birthday today, y'all. We have Sammy. Hello, Sammy. Yeah, and his YouTube channel is back. Very is it nice. Sammy? Is that you, Sammy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, funny, not funny. Hello, George. Right. George, hello. Oh, Sammy. Okay, the, here's oh, his no. answer. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so sorry to hear that. Oh, man. Oh, is that what it is, George? You know... <laughs> I decided not to look into any of that, but yes, pretty sure somebody was saying all of that, so I'm trying not to. But still, yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. So, Sammy, so sorry about you, to hear about your channel. That yeah, is sucks. not... Yeah, that is not. That not really cool. sucks. And it's happening to a lot of people. And I wonder why this is happening so much now. And if there are anything that um, there's any any uh, housekeeping or, or maybe something that we can find out to for when this happens, what to do. Right. Because I don't know. So, Sammy, what have you done? Like, so they hacked your channel. You had to create a new channel and you were able to have your name back. So. Right? How does that? How does yeah. that? Yeah. How does that work? How does how does that work? Let's see. Um. Oh my gosh. So Sammy lost three thousand subscribers overnight. Mm. Oh man. Yeah. And my guy started his um YouTube channel January 15, twenty seventeen. Okay. He. Okay. He, you just started it. Okay. So it's been a long time. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah. What happened? What happened, Rainy Cajun? I guess every month something happens, something like that happens. Oh my gosh! In the know. YouTube world, I mean, yeah. Sam. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's, it's something that happened also to um, to um, oh my gosh, Leslie Sam. Leslie, Leslie, yes, mm -hmm. and um, that was horrible too. It's like it's just like you work so hard for this yeah. and everything that it takes to get to a point that where you want to be, and then yeah. all of a sudden you're just pushed back. And yeah, so Sammy, do you what do you do? So do you contact uh, YouTube and what what happens? Like how do you come? How do you claim your channel back? I guess that's the question. Yeah. Okay, so Matt is giving some advice. Maybe this will help with the real Sammy. <laughs> Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Oh, Jesus, Lord. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Okay, so there, I guess there's a nice little, um, nice little making light of situation. Um, Rainy um, Cajun. Rainy. Mm -hmm. says LinkedIn, Facebook, you name it. Apparently, we're all on a list. I've changed all my passwords to strong passwords to 2FA. I, I think that's the best you can do at this point. Okay, right, right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, all of. Yeah. Yeah. And Sammy already went through all the pipelines. So, uh, yeah. So, oh, so, do we need to know Renee? Well, Renee didn't help. <laughs> so, we, maybe we don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, for real, we need to know Renee because the, Matt is, is suggesting, hey, did you call Renee? So Yes, he did, and Renee was no help. Oh. Well, I guess we don't need to call Renee. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm so sorry, and hopefully everything, uh, if, if any of you watching, whether it is right now or the replay, and you have any idea of how to go about if your channel gets hacked or anything like that, who to contact, steps, first steps to take, because that can be very frustrating, and uh, yeah, yeah, but um, all right, so let's let's speak about good stuff right now um we have um katie and doc just came back from pot fest and they are they came back with a lot of information and some of that information is the pot fest master class that's um coming up fulgens yeah definitely there's going to be a pot fest master class and this is actually a virtual event on april 19th and it's going to be an ai and creator tools summit and the link will be in the chat for you all if you have not came across Katie's post in the Ecamm Live community. Hold on. <laughs> yes, we're going to share we're... that with you all right now. So check that out. It's, it's definitely worth attending. It's, 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 uh, hold on. There it is. And, and it was, it's AI, so let's see what uh, happens, what, what kind of information, because yeah. everything that's happening right now with AI, as we all know, is. Is the hot is the thing to 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 be on uh, since last year, <laughs> but yeah. um yeah so that is that is what's happening and also um speaking of kind of like you know being in a pickle and sour oh. things and all of that stuff are you are you ready for gents? No, it's not the the link apparently is too long for me to share in YouTube. All right, for some reason, um but go to Eventbrite and look up podfest masterclass i'm going to copy and paste the description at least so you can find that and if that doesn't help go to the ecamm live community and you'll find uh katie's post there but i just i just added the link i mean not the link but the description for the event it's an eventbrite yeah yeah and so and, and the we're, we're talking about you know all of these things and Podfest is uh, is is gonna be a, a it's a popular one I, I I will assume because of it especially as it's virtual and networking is always great when we come to the networking events because you get to find out uh, LinkedIn uh, posts and LinkedIn connections and things like that in other channels so that is a great way to get yourself out there yeah. um, when it comes to online networking right definitely so um. Uh, I'm going to backtrack real quick because uh, my son brought to my attention that there's this new type of jelly beans. And um, I want to know if your kids are into jelly beans or your grandchildren or, or your nep nephews and, and nieces and nephews. Um, and this is the new... Anyway, I will show you. Do you know? Frankfurt Candy and Kraft Heinz Clausen joined forces to create pickle flavored jelly beans. Disgusting. And there they are. So I just want to know, right? Some people do love pic pickle flavored things. And I've heard that if you bite into these, they have like a nice kind of sweet and sour and jelly center. So I wonder if the fam is into this pickle flavored, right? Like my mouth is watering right now. I do like to see this type of things because supposedly they just heard, uh, they listened to their customers and they were asking for this flavor and over there they just gave it to them, which is great. You give your customers what they want if you can Disgusting. do it. So let's see what the fam Nasty. says while my mouth is watering over here. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> okay, you see? So Matt is like, Matt is saying, mmm, pickles, I'll try it. Right? You see? <laughs> and then Eric says, <laughs> Americans and their pickle fetish. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. And then your mute sure is too funny. Well, you, yes. you got the, yeah, you yes, got Tommy. <laughs> Sweet pickles, dill pickles. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, true. I like I, I I don't mind sweet pickles. I don't mind sweet pickles. You love everything sweet. Everything sweet you like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have um, <laughs> right, Ag. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh. Ugh. But I mean, Ghosty. if people ask, if people asked for it, right? Like you just give it to them. That's that's <laughs> it. Asked but... for it, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Matt will try it. Matt will try it. But um, yeah, so there are other things that are not so sour. And the next is going to be this. I mean, it might be a little bit of sour, but now there is sweetness to this. Because um, Phil is asking um, if it is uh, if, ECAM, if with Ecamm, it is uh, he can multi-stream to Instagram or to YouTube live. And if there are any tips and tricks um, for toll and why video at the same time. So Phil, yes, you can do all of this. And there is this very simple trick that I will show you right now. You just have to do shift command S and you will see that vertical line to the left, to it, to the left and to the right. You're going to see the shadow, the shaded area. That's the area that you cannot see, right? So everything that is vertical, if you're streaming into Instagram will be in the center of that. Everything that is graded out would be in all the other formats when you're streaming or, um, horizontally. Okay. And then mm -hmm. Fulgens. Yeah. In addition to that, if you check out our building blocks playlist and search for vertical friendly, you'll find a few of our live streams where we create designs that you can actually uh, be able to uh, create vertical safe zones and have your graphics placed vertically, but also be able to stream horizontally at the same time. So we're streaming horizontally, but we can have graphics that are placed vertically that can uh, show up vertically on Instagram without having to, um, you know, recreate something or having to repurpose it and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. It's better. It's easier to go and check it out than to explain it. <laughs> You'll yeah. see what we made, but it's kind of very, it's like a hybrid design. So check out a building box playlist and search for vertical friendly. You'll see vertical friendly graphics, vertical friendly live streams. It is pretty cool and worth the check. That is right. So the easy thing is if you want to do it, just just normal, not having any designs or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just yep. do your um, sh um, shortcuts and you will get the vertical line right in the center. Yep. Yes. So, all right, everybody. So we have some new fam that we haven't seen in a minute. Here is da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Paul. We were missing you. We're missing you. Half Fulgens, they are trying to type some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We have Tatiana. The Tatiana, the house. Tatiana. Love, love the video of uh, Tatiana's nephews taking over her studio space. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> We have Gretchen. Hello, Gretchen. Hello, hello, hello. And there was Paul right away. He came in and he's like, I got links <laughs> for you. I got links. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, speaking of Tatiana, this, uh, there's this amazing class that she has coming up because who doesn't want to learn and get some more tips and tricks on how to present and tips for uh, public speaking. So she's going to have that coming up, Fulgens. Yes, that is how to overcome stage fright. And the description is, don't worry, you're not alone. We got your back. Join us for a special live stream hosted by Tatiana Rodriguez to learn what really triggers stage fright, how to lower the volume on your inner critic, and show up confidently online with effective techniques to calm those butterflies in your stomach. That is coming up April 11th, right here in the Ecamm Live YouTube channel. Save the date for that. Shout out to Tatiana. Yes, and of course, as you all know, Building Blocks and The Flow are on break right now, but Marshall show. Creates starts back again this Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you are going to get all the amazing uh, graphics still, right, uh, this yes. quarter. So yes. um, stay tuned for that. Definitely, and uh, also this Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doc Rock is back with another edition of 
Ecamm Live demo straight out of the summit. That is right. <laughs> All right. And then... <laughs> I wonder who's going to have some great things to talk about because they came back with all that information. And one mm -hmm. of the information that they came back with is this, right? YouTube Podcasting 101. Fulgence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we will have that link in the chat for you as well. Uh, this is YouTube starting up virtual trainings on how to podcast on their platform. YouTube Podcasting 101. And it is totally free. It is free 99. And there's a session coming up on April 26 at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link will be in the chat if you have not registered. Do so. That is great. Look at all this 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 free events. Are you going to be amazing? Coming up. Yeah. Just hoping that that um, YouTube comes up with since now, I mean, if, if it's happening to the fam here so frequently and it's probably happening to others as well that we don't know about. So hopefully there will be something that they will have out there if, if they don't have it already, because probably they do about what to do if your channel gets hacked and what are the, what are the first steps that you should take when your channel gets hacked. Hacked. And, uh, and just like um, Rainy Cajun mentioned, he's like, okay, do your 2FA, right? So um, that leads me to this question. Sammy, do you have two-factor authentication on your channel? We'll like to know, we'll like to know that. All right, so we have Richard here speaking of 2FA, Hello. you know. <laughs> We got the IT peeps in the house. Right? Look at this. So, so Richard, for you, this question, right? What can we do to minimize the um, chances of being hacked, not only on YouTube, but on our other social media channels and platforms? Leave that there for you. While we go here with Tatiana, looking forward to sharing and helping with virtual stage fright. Nice. Okay. So virtual stage. Virtual stage is not going to be for in person, Tatiana. Even though I mean, some of these things can be applied to, but I do think that virtual and in real life are very different. Um, so I think, yeah, so it's a virtual stage, but still, yeah, yeah. All right, so um, Fulgence, um, let's talk about um, real quick. Let's talk about um, YouTube and the ladies, these creators now that are. Um, I'm I'm loving everything that's happening and in, uh, in in the space and how women are being recognized, not only in podcasting but in video podcasting and technology in general. This is, this is pretty awesome. It's pretty exciting for me because I've been in the technology field for a long time and I have had to prove myself quite often and sometimes even back off um, without me wanting to back off because there was so much pressure coming in from some of the males that were not, um, were not welcoming enough. So I, I'm loving the, the shift that is happening and I'm loving how all the platforms and, and, and organizations and, and here in the fam especially um, are so supportive of female creators. So um, I'm definitely loving that. And I hear the, the YouTube, Fulgence. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this. So um, during Women's History Month, YouTube announced the hashtag Women of YouTube Mentorship Program for Shorts Creators. Uh, this is to empower female creators by connecting them with experienced mentors for guidance and support. And it's designed to build a strong community and boost the success of women's creators on YouTube Shorts, helping them thrive and create engaging short form content on the platform. And those are the 2024 mentors there. And it's pretty awesome. I If Miss Amari does not have the link, I'll just go ahead and drop that in the chat for you all so you could check out Meet the Mentors. Uh, darn, why is my link that is working? That is, um, that is just on. incredible. Is. I am so Damn. in love yeah. with everything that's happening. And that, that, those creators are great. And I, I don't know, um, you're probably going to talk more about this, Fulgence, but um, did I understand correctly that it is uh, for like shorts? So those creators who are trying to come in and they're trying to just uh, 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 bring more engagement to their channels is through shorts. So these creators will be helping them. Okay. 
here on the YouTube Shorts. And what's what's awesome about it is that this is the first year, right? So, and this is the, the first cohort of women creators, right? So I'm looking forward to seeing you in a, in a cohort <laughs> in the following years and Tatiana and Gretchen and all the ladies in the Ecamm Live community showing up on this on this new program. That's 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 why I'm excited about it, to see you ladies show up on, on that program. Let's go, yeah. let's go. All right, so um, let's see. So let's see if there was an answer here. Okay, so massive, 2FA everywhere. <laughs> Never turn on Face ID on banking apps. Mm. I am 100% with you on mm. that, Matt. Mm -hmm. And never keep password mm -hmm. electronically, et cetera, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. Last time we we talked about um, password managers. These mm -hmm. this is really important. Um, yeah. So let's see. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. G. Albert, good to see you here. We have the, the fundamentals the NSA. and strategies apply to both virtual and in person, but people experience them differently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And there's there's the there is the link. Perfect. Yes. And perfect. um yeah, and and speaking of of links and YouTube and things happening, let's talk about let's talk about Meta real quick, right? Let's talk about Meta. Uh, we all heard, and there is a an article, uh, amazing article with great information from Ecam about uh, Facebook and they're no more live streaming in not not live streaming, but streaming into groups. So which means that there will be, you won't be able to use the comments and things like that. We already knew this before, but Ecamm has a great article that you can find out more information about it. The link is going to be in the comments. So educate yourself on what's happening because um, in there, right, if, if it's just streaming into a group, but you will still be able to stream into your profile, right? Into, for example, for me, I stream into uh, a page. Right? So I will still be able to stream in a page and I will like to see how that happens after April 22nd to see how that goes. But Ecamm also in the blog suggests um, different ways and other, um, other communities that you can start looking into to mm -hmm. have a second option. Yeah, yeah. And just to be clear, you can still stream in the groups. It's just that now you have a workaround versus how you normally do it as you're streaming to a Facebook profile or a Facebook page where you can schedule it from Ecamm directly and uh, to Facebook, and then you're able to be able to access comments and whatnot. You won't be able to do that effective April 22nd on Facebook groups. But that article covers everything from A to Z, the workarounds, other alternatives. If you want to say F meta, I'm out. <laughs> There's some good alternatives in there for you as well. So definitely check out Ecamm's article. Yeah. And um, Paul, listen, I, I am hearing you right now because let me tell you, I am so happy that <laughs> I am very happy that, that, oh. that <laughs> my my electronics are working right right now because uh, George just informed me that we are in retrograde, and um, it was actually explained to me because Doc Isn't and I that? have this this little back and forth about whether there's retrograde or not. So I actually asked uh, an astrologer about it, and they she explained it to me so beautifully. I forgot, to, but it made sense. So um, yeah, yeah. so 1st, Paul, I'm April with you. Twenty fourth. It when starts is it? today. It started today. <laughs> it, ends on the it ends on the 24th. Just re retract that from your brain, please. <laughs> retract that from your brain. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, it's all good. It's, the, the eclipse is coming, so we're probably getting some energy of that as well. And speaking of uh, the eclipse, how many of you are getting ready and prepared if you are in the path of totality for everything that's going to happen in your city, how many of us are ready? We are over here just so ready. We found out where the sun is going to be. Um, we're going to our, the, the sun, the, the eclipse is going to happen here at 323. So we already checked out the sun. We have our glasses ready. We are all set. Paul just is trying to get some, some equipment to see if we can capture it. I'm I'm about to just oh, a, experience a solar, in it. A right? solar filter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. So how about you all? Are you all ready? This is going to be the the event of the year right here. Let's mm. go. Uh, Giabot says, do you know if Facebook provided a method for us to test Ecamm? Yeah, just check out the article. It's all there. It's all laid out there in the article. Definitely. Yeah, there's there's great, there's great, there's even um, um, a video there by Neil that he goes on into details as well. And there's, uh, Marshall has a video there for using the virtual camera and the virtual camera has so many updates now in this new one. So you have all those details there. <laughs> <laughs> Leave movie in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, speaking man. of Leap Into Live, thank you so much, Paul. So we have Leap Into Tools and Tactics, everyone. So this is going to be happening during retrograde, but everything will be fine. Fulgens. I believe over 800 people registered for Leap already. So if do not do not get left out right we have a plethora of amazing speakers and we have our keynote speakers we have leslie we got stephanie garcia we got luria it is going to be amazing this is all about uh creating an effective workflow for your video creation process yeah and you can go on and get your tickets there you're going to get replays not only for this year's leap, but you're gonna get the replays from all previous years. And yeah. let me tell you, those is is so much information that you can just yeah. go and watch and and just just take so much knowledge out of all of them. And there are going yeah. to be on this one, there's going to be work concessions. So you're going to be able to apply what you learn up to a specific point and then yeah. apply where Fulgence and I are going to be there and we're going yeah. to be uh, with you in that um, in that. Yeah part of the did we, leap did we mention it's free <laughs> totally free totally no free it's to just you. if you want the 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 replays and the all replay of pass. that that's what you will have to um pay for it but let's talk yes. more about um let's talk more about retrograde spam <laughs> i'm all about that <laughs> oh, but no. hello hello the Woo Pick yes. podcast oh, how are up? you what is up Yay. What's up? Good to see you. Well, yeah, building blocks is going dark uh, for for a quarter, but ENN will will still be running throughout the year. So. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 we are. And again, Paul has the link there. We have Matt over here saying retrograde. <laughs> Did you step on Mercury? The sun show, slows down and it rises the sky, then goes backwards for a short bit, then continues its original directions until it sets. True. Yes. Right? <laughs> okay. And then we call Doc. Was, I mean, because of course. Yeah, I knew Doc was going to be something. Because of course Doc has to come. <laughs> yes, Matt is coming in. Listen, Doc, my darling, you, I love you so much. I asked an astrologer about this and they explained it to me and it makes so much sense. So much sense. I'm like, listen, Neil over there talking and saying no hilarious. um but she explained hilarious. it to me something about the way they look um from above and then we are down here and we look from below and but it, she explained it to me and it made a lot of sense and i believe her because we feel things and we cannot deny what we feel feelings are feelings right so here we go doc that's it for, <laughs> that's that for me it's just the technology thing that's that's the thing that bugs me that the day of retrograde you start having technology issues so right you know, and i didn't even and i didn't even know it right i didn't even look into it my friend did say now that i remember my friend did say hey anna we're in retrograde but um i forgot but let's mm -hmm. let, let, let's see what's up let's see what's up because people over here are trying to chime in about it okay if, if the, the world, world is flat, flat it can go backwards doc <laughs> dan is a flat earther okay Okay. Flat for life. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know what? I don't know. I, I I believe. I believe. I believe. There's no such thing. I'm retrograde. He says, I call NDT to come to get you all. Go, 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 go. Doc, go. 
This is going to be a fun month on ENN with the retrograde between retrograde, Anna, and Doc. So stay tuned. We have, what, like four more weeks to go? <laughs> I, <laughs> and it's going to be doing leaps. So let's see what's up, right? So 15th, things... the 22nd. Yes, you got three more ENNs of this. When, so... when things start <laughs> happening, right? And then and then Doc is going to be like, no, it's not it's not it. But but in the back of you, Doc, you'll be like, oh, my gosh, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if. <laughs> oh, okay, man. all right, fine. It fine. is retrograde ENN season. Welcome oh. back. Matt is trying to retract <laughs> something. I meant to write if you stood on Mercury and looked up, and the looked sun up. does a little loop. A little loop, -loop. Mm. What's happening to the, you know what? I'm not even going to. Four more weeks of retrograde rest. Yes. Okay, Gretchen. There we go, my girl. Thanks, Anna, for the retrograde <laughs> excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, I can blame the crush during my life last night on retrograde and the no spill wine glasses that spilled too. Listen, let me tell you something. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned, Gretchen, for the never have I ever because this is going to be, this is going to resonate with you here. And speaking of never have I ever in games, let's go to our first trivia, shall we? <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> Between 2008 and 2021, which field saw a 93% increase in degrees awarded to women? Hey. Is it arts, STEM, or law? Here we go. Speaking of. Back over there, just re probably looking for links. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's too funny. All that right, let's funny. see, let's Three, see, let's see. Three, two, one, and the oh, correct my answer Jesus. is... Oh, my Jesus. It is STEM in a 2020 to 2021 academic year. Women received 276,429 STEM degrees, a significant increase from 143,018 from the year <laughs> That is, Women that is amazing. In STEM. Yes. I mean, yes. We, we're here for it. We're here for it. Yes. Okay. And <laughs> we have a streak going on in uh, for trivia. We have a, a trivia streak. The so, streak Fulgens, do, I'm going to put mm -hmm. you in full screen so that you can share what you shared with me about George and Tatiana coming to Creator Camp and how they will, yeah. they're going to show up. Here we go. Yeah. I was saying uh, that either George and or Tatiana are going to pull up to create a camp in full ecam gear down from the sweats to the shirt to the hoodie to the ecam glasses at this rate and to keep <laughs> winning all these trivias so it looks like george is gonna it's gonna um take that uh take that prize george is gonna have it tatiana. all so fulgence what did george win tonight Speaking of ecam glasses, <laughs> George, you've won the ecam glasses. Exactly, the full ecam drip. I think George is set right now. I think George is set. <laughs> so congratulations, you got the ecam glasses to complement your entire ecam gear for Creator Camp. Contact marketing at ecam.com. That's marketing at ecam.com. That is good. That is so funny. That is so funny. So um, yes, okay. So G Albert was with the STEM also. Mav is STEM. Yeah, we had a few STEM. Gretchen yes. STEM. Gretchen. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have seen it. We have seen it here. There's been this huge increase here as well um, in, in STEM, and um, I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Here we the go. The sun rotates on its axis every 27 days, thus creating the optical illusion. The solar system is heliocentric, so it's not moving the way it looks like it is. Listen, we got... Three more ENNs. Uh, <laughs> we got three more retrograde ENNs. Let's go. <laughs> the, the yeah, you know. It doesn't correlate to women actively working in STEM. And that, yes, there is still lots of work to yes, do. Yes, exactly. and that is the. That yes, is. Yeah, that is an absolute great point, which is why this these uh, awareness keeps um, coming up. And there are yes. so many different conferences and workshops and things like that, um, not mm -hmm. only at schools, but in communities to uh, expose 
um, not only uh, women and, and, and highlight them in the, in the area of STEM, but also girls now that are uh, in the middle school and in, and in elementary school and exposing them yeah. to that to know, yes, you can, right? You you can do this. It was just like um, a, a little girl. We were at one of the our classes and um, I was wearing a STEM shirt that I um, we were using mm-hmm. for us as, when we were recording a, a a workshop and um this little girl said what does gtg means which means girls going tech so i explained it to her and it was going girls going tech en español which was the first one that was ever been that have ever been done here in our community and um it was it was done we were lucky enough to um to uh, be able to photograph and to videotape that uh, for all the girls here in the community, which was amazing. So she was so elated that it was in Spanish and it was, she was Latina and she, I saw her face light up when, and she's like, so you're in tech? And I'm like, yes, I'm in tech. And she's like, so you're Latina? Yeah. And I'm like, yes, I'm like you speak Spanish. And I'm like, yes, girl, yes. So that was an amazing moment. And I'm looking forward to continuing this exploration with all the partners that are coming here in the, te- in the community and beyond because uh, yeah. we're, we're doing great, amazing things. So yeah, yeah uh, looking amazing, amazing things are happening now in the world. So um, Fulgens, let's go into, into speaking of um, things in, in meta and the meta world. Um, do you know, fam, that now there is an opt-in for uh, if you don't want to be involved in politics or even be um, shown politics on Facebook, do you know that there is now an option for you to opt out of it? Fulgens. Yeah, I haven't come across it, but apparently you're going to be able to have uh, some type of um, toggle features, right? Where you can s- um, specify if you're interested or not interested. I did not come across this yet, but mm-hmm. it as the title suggests, it definitely makes sense, especially we're in political um, season, yeah. politics season, election <laughs> season, Getting and ready. Meta has been in, in all, all types of heaps of trouble. So mm-hmm. they're just uh, wiping their hands clean. And I mean, listen, I'm all for this. I'm all for this uh, for this um, feature. It doesn't mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt to have that added there. And if you are, you know, you know, getting frustrated with what you're seeing, you could just toggle that feature on and poof goodbye and just keep it entertainment only or education only and keep the politics out of your metas <laughs> yeah i mean just just like it was before right so it's, it's yeah. like i see I, I used to love going into facebook just to check out family and updates on friends mm-hmm. and things like that but now i barely go there honestly yeah. uh, truth to this the only reason i go to Facebook now more often is just check on Ecom, fam, Facebook, and things like that. Um, because now I have other ways. Now, just like all the reports and all the things that we have seen, how now uh, the interactions, social media interactions are going into private groups, are going into DMs, they're going into um, just, just little groups that we create, chat groups and things like that. That's how I do it now. So we go to Instagram or we even go on um group chats right and just catch up there without having to use social media to do that yeah. so that's why yeah. i think um yeah it's not, it's not the same <clears throat> it's not the same even though they're over there facebook is trying to bring things back right to bring mm-hmm. it back like it was before so although i haven't run into it and I actually looked for it they're mm-hmm. saying that they're trying to bring the poke back right so the little poke, which I never understood, right? I never understood. Have you ever poked someone, Fulgens? Yes. I've on Facebook, you have? Poked. You Back poked? Back in the early, t- it's been so long. It's been over 20 years, it seems. So, but. That's the last time I remember there was poking involved in Facebook. I just never got it. I never understood it. People will be like, oh, so-and-so poked you. And I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah. my brain it's will just, go it's like, into. It's an alert. It's either used for alerting or flirting. Alerting or flirting. 
I mean, in real person. life, a guy will come in and like poke me and I'll be like, excuse me, why are you touching me? Right. So it's like, mm -hmm. in, in, even in the digital world, like when I used to get like the little notification that somebody poked me, I would just delete them because why would you mm -hmm. poke me? If you want to talk right. to me, talk to me <laughs> anyway. So fam, have right. you, have you been poked on Facebook? What do you think about this poking feature that is supposedly coming back? Because... I'm not sure, but let's see what the fam is doing. <laughs> um, yes, so full ecom drip, it would go. Um, okay, time to sell an ecom car wrap. Fulgens, you go for it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, it's going for us. Okay. Yeah, definitely, Sam. You'll get <laughs> there. You'll get. You'll get there. <laughs> exactly. Ecom what everything. is this? What is it? Ecamp skivvies. What is it? And then, listen, hold on. Okay, he's looking for it. So, <laughs> Paul is Underwears. going to... Underwear? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then I think there was something that he said, uh, E of the loom or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Paul, listen. I don't know if you're April fooling or not, but that is a great idea also. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I want neon orange spinners on to okay. So we're talking about ecam, ecam rims. Okay. Fruit of Illum. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fruit fruit of Illum. Fruit of Illum. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um Okay. Okay, the fam went somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, we're talking about. Talking STEM and astrology. Oh my gosh. Listen, listen, Don. That's, that's how you know that I'm special. <laughs> three more, three more ENNs. Three more. Three more CNNs. One down, three to go. Yeah. Yeah. Ignoring politics is a good way to have stuff happen to you and not make things Definitely. happen for you. Definitely. Yeah. If, if you're not, if you're not getting the, from social media, you know, definitely continue to get it from other sources, right? Mm -hmm. Just continue to educate yourself, right? But, you know, it's, but I understand why Meta is doing what they're doing. Yeah. You know? I mean, I just don't understand uh, the the part of you don't have to have this, this full on public just battle about parties and and involving so many people and getting so angry in a platform that I just I just don't think that I to me I don't go to Facebook for that right so yeah. I do get educated about what the candidates because I'm going to vote so I'm going to make sure that I'm voting for the right candidates and who's going to be representing them and helping them out and all of that but I don't want to hear if I want to hear it from the right people I don't want to hear interpretations right? right so and that's 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 Facebook for me yeah. or any other social channel Definitely, yeah. definitely. Steven! Steven, what's going on? You can see pros and cons to that option exactly. More people will be unaware of laws. Being, yeah, if they don't, if you don't, if you don't continue to do your research outside of, you know, opting out on Meta not to receive uh, political content. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Paul, what, what is it? Speak to me. <laughs> speak to me, Paul. Go ahead. Express yourself, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they, no. they, they should give other options. They should give other options. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yes. Ignoring politics feature will be great for unpopular politicians. Unpopular politicians. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I was trying to respond to your question on security matter to better protect yourself, but it won't fit here. <laughs> Listen, Richard, send it. Send it. We will circle back because that's really important. Mm. Um, <laughs> Break yeah, it up know. into sections. <laughs> <laughs> when discussing the poke. I mean, for real, like, what is it? Okay. That was the skivvies, the drawers. The drawers? Okay. The fruit, got of, it. fruit of e fruit of e fruit of e loom. <laughs> <laughs> They're still on it. Little green, green undies. Oh boy. Uh, orange undies. <laughs> no, e but Cam I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he commandos. <laughs> but um, oh. well, speaking of platforms and great things that are happening and all of that, right? Do you know that LinkedIn now is trying to um have their own t 
type reels, right? There is in beta still. So they're um, trying to come to the times, I guess, right? But here's here's my thing though. Uh, of course, shorts are very uh, still very, very relevant um, in, uh, in the social media world and, and to get discovered and all of that good stuff. But LinkedIn is, um, LinkedIn tried stories a while ago. Mm. I, tr I tried the stories, right? I tried looking at story. People got hot a little bit with stories, but then it just phased out, faded out. I'm not sure what happened there. And so I wonder whether strategy is now for bringing this reels in and how they're going to try keeping it in the platform. Right. Well, you, you said it at the beginning of the year in 2024, vertical video is going to be on top. So that's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Right. And, and it is true. And so it's, it's shout out to LinkedIn. Good for them for doing mm -hmm. that. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause I, myself now, um, I don't do it so much on Instagram cause I'm not on Instagram like that, but I'm on TikTok. TikTok is all vertical. Right. So I'm always scrolling through stuff for, um, for entertainment purposes on TikTok. And then, you know what I found myself doing on YouTube lately? Because it's it's a, it's a kind of a double-edged sword. It's a little annoying for me when I open up YouTube now and then just boom, it's just in vertical format. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, because I'm so used to horizontal content. But I do find myself going to shorts more on YouTube and scrolling through the shorts and mm -hmm. scrolling to see what's there. And I'm, I'm finding my favorite shorts creators on YouTube now. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to do that on LinkedIn also. Mm -hmm. You know, and especially if it's like a more professional, business-oriented platform mm -hmm. and just to scroll through that type of content in vertical format, I'm all for it. That's yeah. Dope. Yeah. yeah, it is great because I see, um, for example, for LinkedIn, um, I have tested this and it's just me and then I've also te um, watched other creators when they post vertical video on LinkedIn, it does not perform as well as when it is horizontal. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'm interested in seeing what um, the shorts are going to do um, and, and yeah. what what they have planned for, for it. What are they implementing that didn't work with the stories that is going to not work with shorts? So mm -hmm. um, that's, uh, that's, that's awesome. That's social media. That's trying. So and what do you all people... think about that, fam? And if people who are already posting that type of content on other platforms like YouTube and TikTok, how will that type, their content translate? How well will it translate mm -hmm. on LinkedIn? Or do they have to kind of like shift gears a bit and tailor their content a little bit more for that right. LinkedIn platform? So it's going to be dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. So um, <laughs> let's see where we are. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. You know, the naked truth. <laughs> The naked truth. <laughs> Rainy Cajun did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul is like, get, get off, off my lawn. lawn. Okay. There you go. Right. Now, now, now they're getting grumpy over here. They, they are over here. <laughs> okay. So Sam is saying that he will try making shorts for LinkedIn. Yes. So there is a point. So perhaps, perhaps LinkedIn is trying to bring in younger, uh, the millennials, right? Maybe. Because they, they, a while ago, they did say that they were trying to um, bring more millennials to the platform and Gen Zs. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what, um, my, let's see what Dark has to say about, about yeah, LinkedIn. Let's see. Uh, when you're thirsty, you water in a cup, can, bottle, or hand, all is well accepted. Format doesn't ma matter. Good content matters. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. You Very know, <clears throat> yeah, doc, it can be that way. Uh, but here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. So I said to one of our clients, okay, so we are, they post a lot on LinkedIn and they also post on YouTube. And I said, I suggested, hey, um, would you like me to get it on vertical format for you so that it can display better and you can post it on, you know, Instagram and you can post it in shorts and things like that. And they said, no, because it doesn't display well and it doesn't do that well on the platforms that they are in, which is YouTube and LinkedIn. So having, a, I understand that part of it and I'm still working on them on verticals because verticals are super important, especially for the type of projects that they're doing. 
However, we have to listen to them and just make sure that we inter introduce the concept very um, strategically so that they can see the results and they can see what we're doing. So it, it, it does, right, to them, that is the truth. And then we just have to make sure that we explain it correctly and all of that good stuff. So for some people, it does. You know, format does is, is a thing, right? And we'll just have to make sure that we just explain it. Well, that was my rant for you, <laughs> Doug. Okay, so here is um, Brother Reggie. Hello. Good to see you, good sir. Hello, he got all his things. He's so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor of philosophy is in the house. <laughs> all right, so um, what do we say? All right, so Fulgence, you, you're going to talk about this a, a, um, a little bit because you were, um, you were oh reading a lot about this. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's get into politics right now, no, <laughs> shall it's we? No, it's not. It's not in the politics, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, this uh, it's this lawsuit that the Department of Justice is filing against Apple here. Uh, it's, it's just this drama. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. Got some uh, some lengthy details for you all. Here we go. In the One suit, second. the Department yes. of Justice accuses Apple to, of establishing an iPhone monopoly by lacking certain features in services into iOS. Mm -hmm. uh, the Department of Justice argues that if you don't have an iPhone, you can't use a lot of the stuff that Apple makes, which is not only unfair, but uh, also just locks people into Apple's ecosystem. And here are the specific complaints, right? Uh, there are about five of them. One of them is super apps. Apple is alleged to uh, is alleged to suppress the development of apps that offer multiple functions within one app to increase dependency on the iPhone. Uh, messaging apps, we'll talk about this one in a few. The lawsuit mentions the blue bubble, green bubble issue, uh, claiming it discourages iPhone users from switching to competitor devices. I mean, let's stop there real quick, though. Yeah, right. Let's just, let's, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just read through it, and then we'll come back. We're going to come back to that. <laughs> Uh, cloud streaming gaming apps. Uh, the DOJ claims Apple opposes cloud-based gaming to prevent consumers from bypassing the need for expensive hardware. Digital wallets. Apple's control over NFC payments through Apple Pay limits competition. And last but not least, smartwatch compatibility, arguing that Apple limits the functionality of Apple Watches with non-iPhone devices, making it harder for users to switch to other smartphones all right let's get to the let's get to the bubble issue let's get to the bubble issue i mean like the the, the one thing for me is oh my gosh they can do whatever they want and in, in, in a way right yeah. they can do whatever mm -hmm. they want is the technology <laughs> is is their ecosystem people make their own mm -hmm. decisions if people just want to stay in the apple ecosystem by all means right yeah at for least sure. for me at least for me i'm like I love Apple products. I see an Android. I'm like, all right, cool. That's that's good right. for you. It's just fine. That's your thing. But I just love the product and I love everything behind right. it. I love everything that they promised and everything that they have kept their promise on, right? So that's right. that's what I like. I one thing that does annoy me, right, is that when I am in a group chat with Android that's, users, I don't yeah. like that freaking green bubble I don't because like it. they yeah, didn't that's the part I don't like. Right. It doesn't, we can't, just like they're saying, which is true, it doesn't allow us to get creative <laughs> with no, it because... It's, it's not It's not the color of the bubble. Is that I just don't like that I'm in a group with an Android user and Android user sends a video. Why does the video look like the Android user has a, a phone from 1999 or whatever yeah. it might be? Why is it? Why is? Why do they do? It? I don't like. That's that's not cool. That's yeah, the only and, part. And, and, that's the only part. But everybody has ecosystem. Let us have our ecosystems. You right. Know? And I mean, and what it, the, the thing that I'm I'm wondering is, I mean, it's a standard. And so if mm -hmm. it is a standard of co communication, I'm not sure why it's blocked there for the. Right. For the Android users to have, first of all, a green bubble, and two, I want to react. <laughs> I, I want to react to 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 what they're saying, and then and then the videos, and then the photos are right. not the same. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Get out of the group. Yo, 
It's Big very time. so. Yeah. Let's just see what the fam is saying. But I mean, I'm I I feel I feel a little like why just but they have their reasons over there and they already got yeah. Apple and all of this. Apple has been getting in some since last year. People are trying to get into Apple. Actually, I'm I'm pretty sure for a lot of years, but we have been mm. really hearing it since last year, right? And you know so, what's, what's so funny is like all the all the non-Apple stuff like Spotify and everybody, they're all jumping on Apple right now because like they're supporting the lawsuit, arguing that Apple's control over the App Store limits competition and innovation. I'm like, screw you. I don't use Spotify. I use Apple Music. <laughs> so I don't get, like, <laughs> stop, stop hating. Stop hating. Let's, let's see what the fam is saying real quick. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's start business, here. Business is not fair. Grow up. You want fair, you build your own. You know? After green bubbles. Yeah, I mean, for, <laughs> sorry, fam, but I mean, it's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they build uh, they, a freaking ecosystem. They want exactly. to do whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. That's like telling Sony, oh, you cannot use E-mount lens you know, <laughs> system in your thing. It's like, what? <laughs> Android sucks. <laughs> Right, exactly. That's uh, what it is. Yeah, the hey. Android user has the worst video quality for social media. <laughs> Facts, for real. Oh, I don't want to have a problem with anything listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Messages is not standard. That's Apple tech. Uh, SMS is standard, but limited. Yeah, so, oh. okay. Thank you. So, I was wondering this that. does not mesh well. All right. So, this sounds so much like... Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. Make a note of that. Yeah, let's make a note of that. Is this another mm -hmm. one of those crazy April Fool's jokes that are focused on Apple sound like it should... Right? No, right. Yeah, no, this is real. This you, is actually would, real. We think. had this information since last last week. Yeah. 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 Oh, I hear so you. So sick of uh, bureaucrats just looking for things to do when they have no freaking clue what they're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Oh. Come here, brother. Okay. Brought my first Mac in 2001, and my household is Apple. I mean, and with love, right. and I, I'm pretty sure I'm I, I'm pretty sure I, I know Apple knows this, but still they have to be on their toes for for this. But we're gonna be we're gonna be supporting Apple. We're here <laughs> for you, Apple. <laughs> uh, your product will be at the lowest common denominator if you have to play nice with all hardware formats. It will stifle innovation. That's why they ditched Flash. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue bubble, yes. green bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? For real. Mm -hmm. mm. And then look yeah. what look what Paul said. Next, it will there will be any written program must work on Mac and PC. You yes. know, for real. Like, no, <laughs> it it is it is good to be part of something that you feel proud to be part yeah. of, right? Like, I. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just like Reggie. I, I think I was in two thousand and two. I bought my first Apple and forget about it. I was just like, that's yeah, it. That's, that's it. it. Just that's been it. In the ecosystem, ecosystem ever since. But um, all right, fam. Here it is. It's eight o'clock, so we're just going to quickly play a game of never, ha uh, never have I ever because our friend Gretchen have one of these experiences uh, for April Fools and Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever. Wait a second. Never have I ever streamed on the wrong platform. Let's mm. see. Never have I ever streamed on the wrong platform. This includes going into, you thinking that you're going into LinkedIn and you're not. Are you thinking you're going into a Facebook group, but then you go into another group? Right? Has yeah. it happened to any of you, Fulgens? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happened to us. We, <laughs> that's it happened to us. That's why ENN is currently being live streamed on the Ecam Live YouTube channel because we first streamed onto the Ecam Live YouTube channel by mistake. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Because we're originally happened. streaming on Facebook Ecam Live Community, Facebook and Ecam Network uh, Facebook page. 
And one day we just accidentally streamed onto the Ecamm Live YouTube and we've been streaming and then ever <laughs> since that day. <laughs> Also for me, I streamed. Um, I, I was meant uh, meant to stream into my Facebook uh, page, but I streamed it to my profile page, and it was. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh! And it's like a little freak out. It's not a big deal, but it's a little freak out. So let's yeah. see um, the fam. So we have we have what Dak day number two. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we doing? Um, okay. <laughs> All right, we're mm -hmm. talking about still phones. All right, so Gretchen has not has not done it for another platform. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Here mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Where is the other one? Oh my gosh. So the other one was never have I ever s spilled a drink while live streaming. Never have I ever spilled a drink while live streaming. For me, I have multiple times. And this is why now I have my glass on the other side of the table. That's spill proof. <laughs> on the other side of the table, I would be spilling things. I spilled it on my keyboard while I was going live. It was a mess. So, so Gretchen, this happened to you right? <laughs> Just last night. <laughs> exactly. So then let's see who else this has happened to. How about streaming to the wrong stream? Right. <laughs> oh, <it's true>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we have um, Sammy. Sammy, what was mm. it? What did you spill? Yeah. What did you spill? Just like Doug say, spill that. <laughs> what do you spill? And Gretchen, what was it? What was it that you spilled? She she does um, Nintendo legal, the keyboard skins. What is it? Yeah, yeah, I do. I have it. It just that's after after that. My keyboard was dripping red wine. Oh snap! Dang. Oh shoot! And Sammy spilled water. Who else has spilled? It's not only the three of us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not only the three of us who have spilled stuff in there. Fulgens, have you ever spilled anything? Not while live, not going, not going wood. I have not spilled anything. <laughs> Such a fast. It was, not yeah, that's why I don't like having things in front of me because of that. So, mm -hmm. so Gretchen, what happened to your keyboard? What happened to your keyboard? Is it done because it spilled all over? Or do you have one of those little, those little things, those little skin things, covers? But yeah, that is what's up, fam. Never have I ever done anything like that. So, Fulgens, um, did we miss anything? Is there anything else that we need to um, cover before we are done? No, nope, we just have to rest up now and get ready for the next retrograde ENN next <laughs> Monday. It's going to be, it's going to be something special. <laughs> No, but really, um, why are you all getting uh, next Monday? Next Monday is going to be not only retrograde, ooh, but it's going to be the solar eclipse, fam. For real, like, what are your plans for that? Because that is something big, at least for us. We haven't seen this in the three hundred in like about three hundred years here in Syracuse. Yeah. So we are yeah. over here going to be lit. Yeah. So what are you all going to do? And and and. and any type of eclipse or anything like that, I never participate in any of that stuff. So this is my first time. So it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. Yeah. And I was telling Anna earlier, I'm just looking forward to see the moon right before or minutes before it comes in totality with the sun. Because I never seen that before either. Just having them line up like that and being in such close proximity to each other. So yeah, yeah, that's going to be awesome. And, and remember, you have to have those glasses. I actually tried them because I was like, okay, I don't need to wait until the eclipse to try those glasses. So I put them on and oh my gosh, it looks so awesome. It looked awesome. The sun looked great. I've never seen the sun in that light before, really. <laughs> it was, it's so imagine if like I'm feeling this way, I'm going to feel it. Be feeling even more in awe when we see the eclipse. Moon. The real thing. Amazing. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's happening here, real quick. Okay, so Paul says all my containers are self-sealing. Good for you, Paul. I, I, good for you. I should do that, mm -hmm. but I just mm -hmm. have it and <clears throat> open. 
My keywords yeah. are main brains on, under the keys since 2015. Um, I, my keyword died when I spilled the water. <laughs> keyword I'm gonna, is fine. I'm going to give, uh, give uh, Nintendo Legal some commission right now again. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> No, that was the, that was a joke. That was April Fool's joke. Okay, don't have to worry. We'll be able to. Okay. Why? Why? Oh, in Hawaii they happen a lot. This one is only seventy percent for us. Oh, okay. So you have. Oh, and I, mm -hmm. Go ahead. So Doc, you see, so you see full um, solar eclipses all the time. Lucky. I need the sunglasses. Listen, you have to use special sunglasses. And Fulgence mm -hmm. is trying to get a filter for his for his camera. The, sol the solar filter. Sammy too. He says he's going to try to get it for the FX30. Oh, look at um, Gretchen photographed the 2015 and or 16. Nice. I think it was 2017. <clears throat> solar. Nice. In in her front yard, just like we're about to do. Yeah, Actually, it, you. At that time, it it it. it we're able to see it right in our backyard. It's like right there. We could just stand mm -hmm. outside and see the whole thing. But Anna's saying that it's like a 1% um, that 99%. we 99%. Right. It's a 99% totality. Yeah. I'll yeah, take that's it. That's what a if, scientist if it just means, told me. If it means standing in the backyard, I'll take the one, the 99%. Yeah, you know? but she said, she said, I'm like, okay, so where she's at, which is at a museum, they mm -hmm. get to see 100% totality. <clears throat> But where we are, which is about 10 minutes east Away of it, mm -hmm. um, we will get to see 99% totality. And then I'm like, hmm, it's 1%. But she said, no, the, the, the sun is so powerful that that 1% makes a huge difference. So I want to see the full thing. I want to see totality. But I also want to avoid traffic. And so we will see what happens on April 8th. Yeah. But it's going, to be, it's going to be... It's going to be amazing. So if you can do it, if you are in that path of totality, fam, just do it. Do it. Yep. When the moon mm -hmm. is in totality, do a spin. <laughs> Look at the horizon. It will be like the red morning sun is rising in every direction. Freaky. Mm. Okay. You know, Doc has seen like three. Nice. Full on. Good for you. You know what, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> they say things about this. I'm a, com a conspiracy theorist. I am one. So I like to hear these things. So I was reading what people are saying about the solar eclipse and what's going to happen. So the funniest one was one person saying that if you are out while the solar eclipse happens, your COVID vaccine will activate. So <laughs> the rays are gonna activate the vaccine. And so I'm like, hmm, I see you. That's, that's, that's pretty interesting. But they didn't elaborate. I wanted to know why they're thinking that way. Because it's good to know where, where that's coming from. But that is, um, that is, that is interesting. All those cons uh, conspiracy theories are, are out there. And I'm one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna reserve mine. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to all the TikToks after the eclipse. I'm looking forward to all the TikToks. There's going to be a lot of interesting, <laughs> interesting stuff. Interesting content coming out. <laughs> there will be. Uh, there will be. So, yeah. So, there's going to be an interesting um, Monday. It's going to be. We're going to be. We are in retrograde. And we're going to have a solar eclipse. So, oh my gosh. there's something. Tune in. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss it. Don't miss CNN. Tune it's, in. It should be it should be interesting because the as the moon in the sun energy affects our mood affects our mood. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> Why wouldn't an eclipse with so much energy, right? Affect us humans. And they're doing studies now about how it affects animals. Right, so Gretchen, actually, do you know this? You know how eclipses af affect animals. Um, there will. What would? Ha I'm just so curious about the whole thing. So I'm I'm looking forward to this to this thing. Let's see what the fam is saying. Hello, unwrap love. Hello, Dave. Hello. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. 
eye surgeons are looking forward to it too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. As the moon hits your eye, like a big. I was thinking the same exact thing when you said that. I was thinking the same thing. Listen, speaking of eyes, I have to hand it to all of you who wear contact glasses, contacts. I tried to do it today, and it was a very um, interesting experience. And I was I, almost about to give up, but because I can't believe in myself if I'm like, I gave up putting freaking contacts on my eyes. So, but I was getting frustrated and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I, after probably like 40 minutes, I called the Fulgence and I'm like, Fulgence, I can get this freaking thing out. And then he gave me a couple of tips, but um, the doctor was like, well, you need to keep them on for four hours. And I'm like, nope, take these things out of my eye because I needed to check the fit. I hand it to all of you because you wear your contacts and you can take them out and put them back in and out and put it back in every single day. I am not there yet. And I'm, uh, it's going to be a while, but anyway, yeah, I don't know if I qualify, Doc. I probably will will ask. But last time I asked, they said that I don't qualify for LASIK surgery. Mm. Yeah. Um, animals hold parties for days before an eclipse. <laughs> oh, okay. You see, I'm telling you. It's going to be interesting. Um, I saw a 66% eclipse in... LA in 1963. Oh my gosh. You see? That's what I'm saying. Like people travel places to see this. Mm-hmm. That's funny, Doc. No. I will look at the- <laughs> <laughs> uh. I will look at the eclipse, but we have special glasses for it. But anyway, like still my right eye was the one that I had the most difficulty taking the taking the the lens out of and i'm still irritated in the eye so I'll probably wait probably wait uh, three days or so because they said once you once you put it in you have to train for for three days consecutively adding an hour after yeah i will see yes you see they are oh my gosh matt you and i i'm telling you come to creator camp so we can go to lunch <laughs> contacts are a hassle been there done that i just wear glasses now yeah I'm telling you, yeah. Who was? Oh, Doc wasn't born when in 1963. <laughs> 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 yeah, you see, okay. Uh, Gretchen tried it three times with contact, total torture, but um, her husband has worn them for 55 years. Yeah, Fulgens, Fulgens, um, wears them. Yeah. Fulgens wears them. Put the contact in the middle of your hands. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Doc, I'm not even like I'm not, <laughs> you know oh. everyone. Anyway, make sure that if you are in the path of totality, or even if you aren't, maybe if you are like poll was 66% or whatever it is, try catching, try catching something. It's something that happens uh except unless you're in Hawaii. It happens, uh, it doesn't happen frequently. And it's it's just I just want to say it's something that is so inspiring, right? Just is happening. Like, you, like this is happening. Like in the time of of what Moses and Noah and all of that. Like they, they didn't know what this was, and they were thinking it was a sign. But there could be a lot of truth to all of that that they were feeling before because they just went by what happened to them. They didn't have all the noise that we have right now, and they were able to observe and feel yeah. what that did. Yeah. Holdings? Yeah. No. And and and. You know, and that that was, you know, an, a plague at that time, right? But mm-hmm. but at least this time, us will be able to like observe and appreciate it. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to April eighth and seeing that for the first time. Yes, fam. So we will have all the details because we're about to watch it, and we're about to come yeah. to ENN and tell you all about it. So um, yes, okay. One more thing, if. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doc and Paul are just in it. 
I just in it. Uh, All right, fam. So <laughs> check out LinkedIn. Uh, make sure that um, see if when the beta, if you can sign up for the beta group. I'm not sure how that goes, but if you want to test out the the reels and things like that, you can go on for it. Um, and check out the podcasting on YouTube. Remember that it's free. It's going to be happening around the time of uh, Leap. It's not uh, the last it's day. next day, the, la the last day of Leap. Mm -hmm. It's going to be happening. So um, it's so good, right? So if they have replays, yep. catch the replays. But there are so many great things happening for us. It's still um, Q2 just came in. So we still have a lot of time for our goals. And use the Eclipse energy to propel. In your dreams the for new, 2024. The new, <laughs> the new earth. The new earth and energy that's going to come to you. That is it, everyone. So thank you so much, my fam, for uh, tuning in and being here with us. We will be back on Monday. Eclipsed, eclipsed out. Mm -hmm. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulton Sinery. And you're watching Ecom Network News and entertainment and join if you're in texas holy mother if you're in texas enjoy that four minutes of amazing totality that you're going to have over here we're going to have a minute and a half at most but that's still going to be incredible thank you so much everyone for watching and we will see you next monday <laughs>